door won't open. Looks like it's been designed to sort using a trick mechanism of sorts. Alright, I know it's this. You found a scale with a counterweight attached. By adjusting the counterweight, you can change the balance of the scale. 70 keg was written on Patrick's memo. Maybe you should adjust the counterweight to that weight. 7 oh. Maybe there's a, another, you know what, there's probably, does it say my character's weight anywhere? Maybe I'm the counterweight? I don't know how this works, to be honest. Um, status? Doesn't say anything. Well, good to know. Let me try, like, numbers that kind of make sense. Like, maybe it's 50. Maybe it's 25. It was 25. Well, that's cool, game. Thanks for telling me. I'm glad to know. Okay. Well, we solved. Didn't solve it. We guessed it. Out through here. Now... Hey, this place looks like it's outside again. It's kind of surprising. I did not mean to do this. Back. I just thought of something right now. Let me first check this area out before I jump to any conclusions here. There's a whole lot of nothing here. I guess the bridge is the only way. It looks like it's gonna collapse or something, though. Doesn't it? I guess it isn't right now, at least, though. Oh, first an RPG battle, though. Seems like we have a giant tick and a cockroach. I bet these are probably tougher than the other ones we've seen before. Hey, tick. What's up? Just wants to stand in front of me for no reason. That's cool. Cockroach, I bet it's going to. Oh, it actually attacks my character for once. No, Edward, I say my character, but I mean Edward here. Magic. I'll try the tornado on you. Hopefully, this tick will be taken care of easily enough. Uh, you can't attack this too because we're all trying to take care of the tick right now. A weird insertion into the spot there. Right there. Action, bolt rifle. This is cockroach, not working. That's a lot of health for a cockroach. It just took a rifle bullet to the face. Hey, it's dead though, so that's the right side. I think you're standing there for so long to make me know it's dead. Wait a little bit. Let's give it another rifle bullet to the face. That was two rifle bullets, and that didn't even kill it. There you guys go, bug extermination plants. Shoot it with a rifle face. Alright, what do I want to increase? That gets one, that always gets more. I guess I want to overall, I guess I'll grow this a little bit. Okay. You take the increase in all that. Ah, you, apparently those insects were worth a lot of experience here. You know what? You're going to take a special turn just to fully increase your health more. Cool. We got high list and bow gun ammo. That's not bad. What could be through here? You have to find a way to dispose of Elaine's body. Maybe you'll be able to find something inside the main building. What? I guess we can't go here until we find a way to dispose of Elaine's body. Guess we might find something in the main... What? Okay, so we need to find Elaine's monster body and fight it as a boss. I get that. But still, what the hell? There's only one thing I can think of that we haven't really fully explored. And that would be back outside, which makes sense because there's an access point outside that I haven't really taken a look at. I guess now's the time to do it. Guess we need to kill a zombified body Frankenstein monster. Not through here, though, right? Yep, lock from the other side. I'm assuming we have to go to the monastery. I think I might know how we get there, too. Here, right? This leads to the outside area with the gargoyle we can't possibly beat. Maybe we need to beat the gargoyle to make progress. That's a scary thought, honestly. Before I even think about possibly finding this gargoyle, let me check over here. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to win in that gargoyle in the fight. Let's go over here in the meantime. I'm going to mess around with that sword again I couldn't lift before. 
Maybe since all three of us are together, we can lift that sword, and I'm assuming that's what's locking the gate to the monastery. Except I want too much uh, going back and forth there. If we can pick up the sword, that'd be great. And if that unlocks the gate to the monastery, that's even better, because I haven't even been in there yet. But first, an RPG bow, because, you know, not too much thinking there. Single zombie. That's actually kind of a new enemy I don't recognize. It's like a literal mummy with lawns and outstretched arms, which would be easy enough. Actions, magic, tornado on you. Actions, shooting bullets. Still not down. Give him the way around a little bit. Zombie's trying to hop his way to us on one foot. That's taking care of him. He looks pretty proud of himself. Shotgun shells. Cool. Alright, can we actually lift this now that we have all three of us together? I couldn't before. Maybe I can now. The stone is holding the holy sword scan off. Let's try to remove it. Surprise your mind, you cannot take scan off from the statue. It appears to be held in place by something. Good. Damn it. Well, maybe we do have to fight the fucking gargoyle. That'd be f I mean, the gargoyle is defending something, but last time, yeah, shit ton of health and defense, and I don't even know what to do. In this case, I'm about as blind as a bat, which is not a gargoyle joke, by the way. I'll head at least in that direction and think about it. The gargoyle was super tough, and that wasn't that long ago. So he can't be that much easier, but I couldn't even really hurt him last time. I can kind of hurt him, but he has a shit ton of hell. I think he's more of an optional boss, though, but I don't know that. That's just my assumption about this whole scenario. Alright. I guess I'll try finding him. I just made a safe safe to be on the safe side. Let's do this. Yeah, let's go inside and enter. Might as well at this point. Gargoyle. I have to fight one more enemy before we fight him just to see if we can level up or something. Come on, one more enemy. Throw your way at us. I think he's an optional boss. Okay, he's an optional boss. Okay, good to know. Thanks for telling me. I think he's an optional boss hiding a secret, but I don't actually know that. Now I do, I guess, but I didn't before. Then the question is, if that's an optional boss, what are we supposed to be doing? I'm trying to think right now, I can't think of anything. I'm almost on some kill friends. Um, uh, wait there. Doka, magic. Use your tornado on this thing. Attack, action, on this. That was enough to get down one hit, I'm surprised. Should be close though. He wants to try and attack us, but it's got no sort of over advantage on us. That was a little overkill there, but it works. Wait. That thing is preparing to attack, but of course I need to reload the rifle ammo here. Uh, wait. Action, I get another chance to attack it. Let me issue it twice. Come on. Raised. 
Mind raised, utility raised, agility raised. Cool. I'll increase your pie by some and your vitality by others. Cool. And that should be good. Shotgun shells obtained. And out. So with all this learned, let's go on back and I guess explore the mansion to see if we can find anything. We should start from where we started and work our way backwards. And then if that doesn't turn up anything, explore the rest of the house, I, think, I guess. This is the best idea I got. It's not really a formed, calculated plan, but hopefully it helps us at least. So we'll start from here, then go back to the other room, and then back, I guess, outside. Ah, oh, jeez, I hope we find something soon, though. And then here? Don't think so. Why was I turn this on? It sounds hollow when you hit it, okay? Oh, I know. Alright, so it only appears if you hit the statue. Got it. Right, and we go. It looks like Roger is still engaged in research. Oh, another cutscene. I know it's here. I, I saw it here. I put it here. Uh, what? Uh, have you come round to see me again? I want you to look at this. <laughs> Research journal. I want you to tell us whether what's written there can actually happen or not. Well, let me see. Hmm. Yes, yes, I see. Oh, well, that's right. Resurrecting the dead. Ooh. A cauldron. The Branwyn tales, indeed. Yes. It is most likely that the events detailed here did take place. Just as I thought. But that's so frightening that Personally, it... Personally, I have not attempted it. I am certain that the immigrant document contained accounts of secret rituals conducted to resurrect the dead. But as you can tell from reading this, it involves complicated preparatory work. I had given up discerning the impossibility of fusing the psychic powers necessary to create such an immense psychic platform. Moreover, I never expected that people would attempt to challenge such a feat. The journals say that the physical body was resurrected, but not the soul. Absolutely. The ancients held the secret to life in the palm of their hands. <laughs> but they could never come close to touching the secrets of the soul. <laughs> they resurrected the dead in order to use their physical bodies as a workforce, thus building the great civilization we oftentimes speak of. In fact, we would not be far off if we called them a puppeteers. <laughs> Exploiting the human body as an object. If so, then we Yes, resurrecting the dead and restoring them to life as it was before death is impossible. Then how do you return the resurrected body once again to Earth? That is a very complicated question, since... It already defies universal logic, please. It is no easy task. Tell me how. It's Woody Lane, God rest her soul, wanted. Right. It is not absolutely impossible, but I would need to call forth the sacred powers in order to complete such a feat. Oh. I know that the arm of Daniel Scotius, the man who built this monastery, is stored in a stone statue on the ground. If, if we throw that into a cauldron, we will successfully destroy the roots of the Tree of Life. 
after that, I haven't a clue whether to call forth the energies of fire or entrust the task to water. Oh, it is so complicated. Fire <laughs> or water. What are we going to do? Oh, Heavenly Father, bless our souls and bring forth an end to this suffering. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't want a question. Suffering, smuffering. I don't know where to go from there. Holy. Oh, first I guess we got a battle of cat, probably. It might not be a cat, but I guess. Yep, it's a cat. I knew there's only cats in here. That's my prediction. Let's see what we can do. You know what? Actually, we're gonna wait this one out. Delka needs to get that tornado down. Wait. Cat's trying to run. Someone stop the crazed feline. There you go, direct hit. <laughs> hey, he got more stuff, so that's good. Okay. And he's only one. Get cat's eye, we have to throw one item away, so nope, we won't get the cat's eye. No siree. This is a good question, though. Where do we go from here? Where do we come from? I think it's over here? Oh, found the door. Never mind. Found my way through the darkness. Maybe I should try that door again. There's like two different things I can think of. I'm trying to think over it. I'm going to try the door in the basement now. Maybe after seeing that cutscene, I can do it? Maybe? It's it's definitely me being a little bit hopeful here. But that or the outside are the only two things I can think of. Either or, we gotta give it a shot. I'll try down here first, just to be on the safe side. By safe side, I mean I think this might be more likely. You're not open, right? Yeah, you're not open. It's probably this general direction. Ah, jeez, I'm gonna keep on going back and forth between camera angles. That's always fun. Now, my prediction is that it's down here in the door that I couldn't open before for whatever reason. But it also might be the door outside, and it's neither of those doors. I have no idea. This one's a little bit closer, though. But, of course, any RPG monster battle make it a tad longer. They're purplish and zombified, so you can probably tell they're gonna be a little bit tougher than the usual match. However, though, we got some pretty powerful characters, so that was no problem. No level 2 thunder yet? Really? We have to at least be close, you have to think it like that. Okay, reload pistol rounds this round and wait. Hopefully, this kills it. Not quite, but it seems to be close. Maybe it did fall over. No, never mind, no, it did. Well, time to shoot the pistol. That was enough to take it down. A level ups? Yep. I knew something like that was happening. Put it up to that, vitality up, this, and that. Okay. Oh, even more good stuff. Alright, some pies, some vitality. Uh, some intelligence in that. Okay. Dried food, we're good. Ah, uh, no, I don't want it. Put that dried food off. First possible door. Check. 
could be across the one plank if you're it. Yep, now the door will let us in, even though we couldn't go in earlier. Vestry first floor. This must be a fancy place. Beyond the, there's this really cool effect. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. Just listen to the music for a second. There's like a drone sound beneath all the wind. It's kind of creepy and it's doing its job well. That's the way that we came from. Back in. I think it's a cool uh, drone sound effect. Just around here. Oh, there's something already here. Pistol rounds, take those. Probably the thing that we need to look at. You see six dolls. It looks like the lower four dolls can be moved. Yes, I like to move the first doll. Move the second doll. It's a bit weird. Alright, can we move dolls? Move the first doll, yes. Move the second doll, no. Move the third doll, no. Move the third doll, yes. Nothing happened. Ah, uh, Jesus. Do I make them all? Move the first doll, move the second doll, yes. Move the third doll, yes, yes. You hear something that sounds like a lock opening from the next room. I saw that easier than I expected. I was actually about to say, I think I was confused. So they can be moved. Maybe we just move the dolls. We don't want to keep on moving them if we just unlock the door. Maybe we have to use them for different combination puzzles, though. Ah, Romanets. Alright, this is probably it from them. Hey, there's some pistol ammo. As you know, why not? Shock oh, that's shotgun shells, because I'm silly. Through the crypts? Those are definitely crypts. All right, before I take the door blocked off by Crips, I'm gonna try and look through here for a moment. Or, there's nothing. I guess four is the only way. This door looks pretty bad. It's like a boss room. Or build up to a boss room. Because there's some side areas. And then interact with, nope. It's just letting us know this is a big, intimidating room. With now a monster battle. Oh, new enemies. It's, yep, they're new. One's a variation, one is one I don't even recognize. I'm gonna take care of this further one first. Wait for a little bit as we prepare our totally still not prepared thunder spell. Just make sure this thing dies. Sometimes the extra damage can help. The way that thing moves. It's definitely in a rust somewhere. Looks like it's about to charge up its own magic spell, but it might take care of it before it does. That's dead. Ah, uh, no, you wait there. Let's uh, attack this thing immediately. I did a lot more damage than anticipated. <laughs> it makes little cute sounds when it jumps up. I think it's so adorable in some weird way. That's why we have to kill it. Preserve the adorableness in our minds. That's all it took, apparently it has weak health. Um, we've been, someone's asking play time. Uh, the play time inside the game might be different because we have to replay an hour of the game again. But overall we've been playing the game for about 10, almost 11 hours. Let's see, increase all the stuff that we always increase with them. Okay. <laughs> but according to the play time in the game, we've been playing for a little over nine hours. Is this a door over here? Probably. Just gotta check through here. You know, uh, the drone sound underneath is a little bit louder now. And it's doing a good job making me a little bit more nerved, I'll be honest. It's not like the most intimidating thing I've ever heard or anything, but it's doing its job well. Okay, we can't climb that. Maybe if you light a candle. It looks like there's something in the wind, in the shadows, but you can't see well. Maybe if you light a candle. Can we light these candles then? 
We need a lighter. Is this going to be a lighter puzzle saying we need a lighter in order to see in the dark? I'm going to assume we need to come back to this. Because I don't know how you light candles in this game. I have fire magic, but I might just burn the candle to be fair. Out. A boss is probably coming. Well, that's okay, bosses always come in this game. There's actually been a lot of bosses in this game, more than I uh, predicted there might be. Something's not right. That means boss. We'll build up to something at least. It's probably gonna be up here, because this looks like it's gonna be a fountain, so that probably means that there's gonna be a boss here. Yep, here we go. That's a big old thing. It's like a peacock mixed with a brain or something. Well, we take a step back to be our proper distraction of self, and fire a bull in its brain. That is a lot of damage, actually. Now, action, magic. We're gonna get that tornado. We're gonna need to check, see what things are effective anyway, so we're gonna start with that. Our character is going to be the distraction, he's going to move him forward, and let's see what his gun does. Nothing, so he's not, it's not worth it, he should just buff characters. Thunder did something to it, I'm not sure what that just did, to be honest. Uh, wait... This thing doesn't seem to move, actually. Let's focus in on him. He's a distraction. Ah, but barely does any damage to him. We've increased his health tremendously recently. Oh, but it silences him so he can't use magic. That's kind of a bitchy thing to do. Items, rifle rounds, reload. Yeah, I gotta wait for a second. I might get a turn immediately. I not expect it as such. That missed. Ah, two misses this time. Hit the first time, though. Action, magic, let's try Megalith on it. I hear I feel like round attacks usually are good against flying enemies, so this might be a good option. Uh let's use No wait no no. He needs to use an item on himself. Pankia on himself, because this might be helpful. Just stay there, I guess. Wait. Yep, ground attack does a fair amount. I should also try firing guys just on the safe side, though. Wait in the meantime. Can we actually attack him this time and not miss? Yep, that does damage, so I should probably use that for the moment. Wait. This turkey definitely wants his oven cooked. Wait. It really hates this priest. Probably because we have him in the front for distraction. Maybe he can only attack the person in the front. He's doing his distraction job well. Action. I guess just attack this. <laughs> it misses sometimes, but hits other times. Maybe I should move in just a little bit. I'm gonna move in one and see if this all helps. With the aiming it. Action, items. I don't wanna use too much of this. I got enough pancreas, so put my silence at rest. Well, that's good. If he can actually use a spell for once, that'd be great. They might keep on getting hurt until they've got no more uh, magic or items to use. Let's try a flare on this thing. See if that works well. She can use a flare immediately. I don't know what the green means, like if it nullified or gained health. It seems like it might be best to use the earth attack though. I'm gonna try geyser though before I give up. Attack this. <laughs> I missed that time. And he's gonna throw a bullet at him, he's gonna be silence. Bright side doesn't do much damage, bad side silences him so I can't do his buff attacks. Well, I guess we'll do what we can do. 
be a distraction, I guess. Uh, let's try magic. I'll try geyser, see if that doesn't happen. Oh, wait, that did something. I should have buffed somebody. Okay, geyser's not gonna have any effect. He just did the same thing. So, earth is his weakness. That makes sense. I should wait and continue attacking this thing. <laughs> Taking some of those attacks in. Now, Delka, please help me go get you. Got another turn. Good. So, his weakness is Megalith, which means I have to use the ground attack a lot to bring him grounded, I guess. Yeah, that's the one that hurts them. Good to know. But in the meantime, keep on aiming at our favorite priest guy. I have a feeling that if I figure out the Megalith thing earlier, that would have been useful. Hey, silence, yeah. I need to reload my fucking rifle. No, not like that. I'm just gotta wait. We'll get a second attack as you're fast. Hey! It's hard. Wait for a bit more. Ah, uh, just be a distraction. There's not really much for you to do, though, is there? Let's make him the melee person who goes all crazy and starts running in with um, a normal B sword. I guess sounds like it might be cool. I'm moving a bit to do your magic. He might melee attack me though. Let's see how this works. Oh, two hits. Good job, Edward. In the meantime, he's gonna probably slap him. <laughs> <laughs> knew it. I knew that was coming. That does a lot of damage. Should probably step away next time. Magic Megalith on this thing. Still has a fair amount of damage on it. Alright. Wait for a moment. Because I'm shooting it. Hey! Oh, damage. Wait, is it dead? That's that. That took care of that, I suppose. Alright, what do we need to want to increase this and that? And I guess agility and. Right, yep, that should work. Oh, you got two level ups. How'd oh, that happen? Turn your vitality up quite, quite a bit. Turn that up and turn this up. Okay. You guys level ups too. Okay. Two level ups. Is that boss really worth that much? Alright. Vitality, because you need to be like that. Some more of this, just in front of it. Let's get you up to 3,000 and turn your intelligence up as well. Two level ups for each of them. And we got a crossbow out of that. Crossbow probably uses bow stuff since I already have a cat sign in use. So. Kadoka has that, because I'll discard this one. Okay, that, that was useful. This also means a save station for us. Shine with sacred light. We can purify here. Save. Seems good. All seems good. Did I just overwrite? No, I'm going to try one more time. Just be on the safe side. Portrait room. That's probably... No, that's not us right now. Now we did it. That doesn't light candles for us, though, so we need to still figure that element out. Cutscene. This must be the temple. There's no way! If I put a bullet through it, it wouldn't budge. What are we gonna do? How ironic to have made it this far and not have access to the temple. Kudelka, Edward, you both must go now. It is my friend that is apparently responsible for this disturbance, and therefore I am partially responsible for this trouble. I have no intention of asking for your sympathy, and I'm in no position to plead for your help. So from this point forward, I can manage on my own. Don't kid yourself. We didn't come along just for your sake. No, Kudelka, you should go back now. It'll be far too dangerous. 
Edward, you're the one who should go home. You were not meant for this world. Granted, you are a good fighter, having had plenty of experience, and I won't deny the fact that you have the killer instinct either. But when all is said and done, you are an average Joe. I am not. I was meant to exist in this realm. It's the only place I can carve out an existence for myself. Quit lecturing me. I want no part of a lukewarm existence filled with regret. No. My way is to not worry about consequences and to do whatever it is I want to do. Chance means nothing to me. Life's a gamble, and once you place your bet, you'd better play to win or else you end up dead. Edward, you really are ridiculous. That's what they tell me. Do as you like. That I will. Oh, suddenly when you feel like it, you decide when you can and cannot open doors? Wait, there's a way. Remember when we were searching Patrick's mansion? There was various chemicals around. It may take some time, but I think I can combine the chemicals to make nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin? That's great! We're talking powerful explosives here. For this door, I think we'll need a full flask. Indeed, if I drop the flask before I return, I'll be knocking on Heaven's door in a flash. It is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or hell. Hey, we made it to disc four. That's a bit of a surprise. All right, let's go switching disc here. <laughs> 